want to thank you all for being here. Muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. My name is Javier Becerra. I am the Attorney General for the state of California. And I'm being joined by some very important people who I will name to you right now. But I, I want to first simply say that I want to thank you for being here, those of you who are from the press, because we need you to help us. Because what we're about to announce is something that will go unnoticed without the help of the press and the news media to get the word to people throughout Los Angeles, throughout Southern California, throughout our state. So thank you to you who I believed it was important enough to be here. Uh, let me begin by introducing the people who will say some remarks. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the work of the LA County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs. Speaking on behalf of the department is the director, Brian Steger. I'll be handing this off to him after I speak. After Brian speaks, Brian can then hand it off to the Deputy Attorney General who has been most active in handling this matter for us and will be pivotal in making sure that we have success in this particular litigation, and that is uh, California Deputy Attorney General Alicia Hancock. But I'd also then like to introduce, after Alicia speaks, uh, have say some words, someone who could tell you firsthand what happens when you're taken advantage of, and that is Miss Martha Wilson, who will speak to us, at least in Spanish and maybe even in English. And so we're looking forward to her remarks. Um, we're here to talk about a situation that occurs far too often with sometimes some of the names that we know so very well, at least in the Latino community, the name Curacao is very well known. But before I go into what we're here to discuss about Curacao, let me give you the names of several of the people who are with us here today. Along with Alicia, I want to make sure I acknowledge Senior Deputy Attorney General, I'm uh, Supervising Deputy Attorney General, Michelle Van, de Gold, uh, Van, de Van Gelderen, is it Val Van Gelderen? Right, Michelle Van Gelderen, forgive me. Uh, Shanira, is it Banjuri? Banjuri? Banerjee, thank you. Michelle Burkhart, Maricel Leon, Timothy Lundgren, and I know they didn't list their names here, but they should have. Nick Akers, who really runs our shop all together when it comes to consumer protection and consumer rights. Ellie Bloom, who's a special assistant who deals with consumer affairs and consumer protection as well as here. I want to recognize one of our legal analysts who's with us, Amy Lopez. And let me also acknowledge on behalf of Mr. Steger's team, we have Esther Martinez and Annette Gonzalez who were investigators in this particular matter, along with supervising investigator Maureen Merritt, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of them for the work that they have done to bring us to this point where today we are announcing that we have filed the lawsuit against Curacao. Because while they should be doing right by all these customers they continue to get, we have found through our investigation that they are taking advantage of people who work very hard, who don't have, that, have very much money, and who believe that they'll get fair treatment. They believe they're gonna get fair treatment because Curacao is one of those retailers who goes out there and says things to so many people, especially in the Latino community, in Spanish. They go out and they promise, quote unquote, un poquito de su país, a little bit of your country, when you walk through their doors. Curacao actively markets its products to people who don't have a lot of experience with long-term contracts for the purchase of goods and services who don't have the most experience when it comes to making credit payments off of credit agreements. Curacao claims that they offer easy and available credit and that they quote unquote enable Hispanics to establish or build their credit in the USA. Unfortunately, what they don't say in their ads is that buying a TV from their store can be heavy debt burden that 
a customer did not expect and did not know he or she was signing up for. It can also mean falling behind on the payment of a particular good they bought at Curacao and then being subjected to threatening calls from creditors. Our team went out and worked very hard to collect information about this particular case. And I must tell you that when we file this lawsuit, we intend to win. We are charging Curacao with a number of illegal practices relating to their marketing, their sales, and their debt collection activities, including bait and switch advertising, failing to honor warranties, threatening consumers who fall behind in their payments. We're charging Curacao with violating several state laws, including ones that protect consumers from false advertising and egregious debt collection practices. Curacao's practices aren't just disgraceful, they are unlawful. I say that not just as the Attorney General for the state of California and the Chief Law Enforcement Officer for the 40 million people in our state, I say that as someone who had experience trying to essentially be the attorney at a very young age before I had finished college for my parents when they got ripped off because they had no other means to try to secure justice from someone who was unscrupulous and took much of their money. Too many families in California, in Los Angeles, have to believe that the vendors and the merchants that they do business with whom they give their hard-earned money to, will do right by them. And it is unscrupulous and it is disgraceful when these merchants take advantage of them. Curacao, which bills itself as someone who knows our community, cannot be forgiven for what it's doing. And that's why it's so important that you are here and that we are here because we're trying to help all those hard-working families who believe that after that hard day's work, they deserve to be able to buy a product and not be taken advantage of. With that, let me now yield the microphone to the director of the LA County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs, Brian Steger. Brian. Thank you, Mr. Attorney General. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Attorney General. Um, I want to, first of all, begin by thanking you sir for your leadership and commitment to protecting consumer rights not only here in the county of los angeles but throughout the entire state of california mr becerra it's an honor to work with you and your team to protect our most vulnerable populations from becoming victims in the marketplace this case came together because of the solid investigative work performed by our members of our complaint investigation team um, and just to rename them, um, Esther Martinez is one of our senior investigators, Annette Gonzalez, an investigator, our supervising investigator, Maureen Merritt, and our acting director for um, consumer protection, Maggie Becerra. They worked on this case for over three years and had many obstacles and challenges, but they never gave up fighting for consumers. I also want to thank the consumers that, who came forward to file complaints and share their stories with us. Their courage and sense of justice made this happen. Consumers must be able to shop with confidence knowing that they will not be charged more than the advertised price of the product and that other items of warranties will not be added to the sales contract without their knowledge. We want to, mark, we want to remind consumers that we are here to help and if you have any questions or um, have concerns, please call us at 1-800-593-8222. Thank you. Thank you. Let me now ask the person in our department who is helping move this case forward, Alicia Hancock, to say some words. Alicia. As Attorney General Becerra and Director Steger um, have alluded to, this complaint that we just filed was the result of a multi-year investigation and the collaboration between the consumer law section of the Attorney General's office and the Los Angeles County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs. And we wouldn't have been able to do it without the amazing work 
of Esther Martinez and Annette Gonzalez, Maureen Merritt, and the whole team um, at the Department of Consumer and Business Affairs. So thank you very much for all of the work that you've done. Through this multi-year investigation, we discovered that Curacao has violated a number of California's consumer protection laws, including the unfair competition law, the false advertising law, the California Translations Act, the Consumer Legal Remedies Act, and the Rosenthal Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Based on those violations, we filed our complaint against Curacao yesterday. And in that complaint, we are asking the court for a permanent injunction to stop Curacao from engaging in these violations of our consumer protection laws, restitution for consumers, and civil penalties. We were able to discover these violations and file that complaint because customers like Marta, who you're about to hear from, were willing to come forward and to speak with us to tell us their story and to explain to us how they were wronged by Curacao. By sharing their stories with us, these customers have now helped to make sure that the problems that happen to them will not happen to anyone else. So we want to thank, again, as Attorney General Becerra and has Director Steger have done, we want to thank those customers who are willing to speak with us over the course of this investigation. And we encourage anyone, anyone else who has suffered in the way that these customers have or who believe that they have been wronged by Curacao, to come forward and to report those violations to us as this matter continues. Um, so feel free, uh, like Director Steger said, to please call the Los Angeles County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs to report anything that you may have suffered at the hands of Curacao. Thank you. Lisa, thank you very much. Now we will have someone who has direct experience. Mrs. Martha Wilson, Señora Wilson, nos va a dar unas palabras en español y si gusta también en inglés. And then we'll take some questions after that. Señora Wilson. Thank you. Mi nombre es Marta Wilson y de la razón que yo tomé acción era porque sentí injusto lo que Curazao hizo en mi persona. Me vendieron un televisión por 600 dólares, el cual yo tuve que pagar más de 2,000. Y me hicieron rip off porque cuando yo estuve enferma yo pagué una aseguranza que ellos jamás reconocieron y cuando yo regresé del hospital me cobraron charges porque no había pagado en tiempo. Y, y no soy la única víctima. Yo, yo conozco mucha gente que le ha pasado igual que yo. Lo que pasa es que tienen miedo o no les gusta estar en problemas. A mí no me, no me molesta porque si no debo nada, ¿por qué tengo que temer? Y la, por eso estoy aquí. Porque yo, yo creo que es injusto lo que Curazao está haciendo con nuestra gente. No por un año, ya lleva muchos años. Ya, ya son dueños hasta del edificio donde está la, la tienda. Antes era una tiendita a Cross the Street que, que no valía la pena y ahora ya se hicieron dueños de ahí, dueños de, de, de uh, Arizona, hasta en Latinoamérica hay Curazaos. ¿Y de dónde han crecido tanto? De la de los abusos que cometen aquí mismo, pero como digo yo, la otra gente no quiere salir a hablar, pues qué pena, yo sí, yo sí quiero que lo lleven a los tribunales y que el juez dictamine si son culpables o no son culpables. Eso es todo lo que tengo que decir. Lo que dijo es bueno. Muchas gracias. Okay. Me llamo Marta Wilson. Y ha vivido en esta área por más de 50 años. So yo sé lo que les estoy diciendo. Yo creo que solo necesitábamos a la señora Wilson que nos describía, describiera lo que, lo que sucedió y con eso te, podíamos terminar. Pero ya escucharon. I, I, just to, in case, for those who are Spanish challenged, um, Mrs. Wilson essentially said that she bought a $600 television set from Curacao and ended up paying about $2,000 for it. And this is not, she is not the only one. I'm sorry? 300? 300? No, 600. 600. 600. Yeah. $600. And it ended up costing her about $2,000. More than $2,000. More than $2,000. 
You could do this in English too. All right. We are uh, thankful to the people who have taken this microphone to give some words, especially Senora Wilson. And now we will take questions you might have.